Hey guys, so as you all know, the runes for League of Legends have been updated this preseason, and masteries are now gone, and everything has been changed pretty much. The new runes are essentially masteries 2.0, just way more busted pretty much and changed. So Draven right now, I'm going to be talking about Draven's runes, what are best on him. I have to say though, I have to preface this, Draven, I don't think he's in a great spot right now. I've played a little bit, I've mostly just been playing normals, leveling up another account because I find the preseason so boring, but I don't think Draven's very good, Pornstar's Alien has been very adamant about that Draven is complete garbage right now, and I do think that Draven is in a very very bad spot without Fervor and that there isn't really a mastery that can really do what Fervor did, and uh, that he's really, really a lot weaker, to be honest. And uh, it kind of sucks. It really does kind of suck, I have to say. So, for all of us Draven mains, you know, it kind of sucks right now, but it's going to be okay. But for the time being, there are still some valuable or some viable uh, things you can do. Uh, one of the things that I've been doing the most on my smurf is going summon airy. Uh, this is very strong in the early game as all of your autos essentially do 20 plus damage and you'll also be going celerity which means that when you press your W you get 11 plus AD which is really really good. So that means in every trade where you have your W up you'll be doing quite a bit of damage. And I also go nullifying orb because there's so many AP supports and also go uh, gathering storm usually you can also go do scorch i'd say those two are both decent scorch with like your e uh it works and you can also do triumph uh, or you should also do a second tree do precision and do triumph and then into uh, legend of uh, Al alacrity because you don't get the attack speed if you do sorcery precision but you do get 15 plus ad which is really big in the early game, so your axis will do 140 damage instead of doing 120, which is the usual it does to minions. But so you want the attack speed as early as possible, you can even get a dagger pretty early on, because you will have really, really low attack speed and it will feel horrible. That's the only thing that I really despise about this. Uh, your attack speed is garbage, but you do have a lot of AD. So if you can do those short trades, get like one auto in, then run away, then you will do a lot of damage. You can also go press the attack, it certainly works, I don't think press the attack is very strong right now, I don't like the mastery concept in and of itself, I think it's a dumb mastery for an ADC, it should be for a support, or a dumb rune for an ADC, it should be for a support, that's where it would make sense, I don't understand why they gave a vain W, but then it does zero fucking damage and you have to continue hitting the same target, it's just... It's just way worse than Fervor, to be honest. But that's the only way that you can get uh, all of the good stuff in Precision, like Triumph, Legend Bloodline, and I also say Coupe de Grace, probably. And then you can do that into Domination with uh, Cheap Shot or Taste of Blood, depending on whether or want, you want more damage or you want more lifesteal. And then you can do Eyeball Collection. Uh, you'll get a lot of those just from kills. Uh, and you could also do a sorcery instead of domination with uh, nullifying orb and uh, celerity. I think that's pretty decent as well. And there is also a third runes or a third thing you could do, which is fleet footwork instead of press the attack. This is essentially like warlords. It's a little bit worse than warlords, I think. It's uh, it scales worse, but it has higher base, uh, so it's quite a bit worse than Warlords when I calculated it on stream and uh, yeah I'd say it's quite a bit worse. Here's the clip of me being very tilted because I have fleet footwork and it does zero damage compared to Fervor for example. Yeah but French Challenger isn't. Oh. Where was that hook going? Actually feels like you don't have a keystone. Yeah, it really does. I can't I did no damage! I could would have got a triple right there if I had my fucking what? Well if you had like fervor you would have just destroyed them. Oh imagine if I had fervor right now. 
Imagine finding my goddamn fervor. Ah! I hate the new rooms! Why, you're so autistic. Fuck. Little outburst there. Are you, are you okay? I, I would have gotten a triple if I had fervor, but I do no damage. You could also do the inspiration tree with a uh, kleptomancy. I think this is pretty good in the early game. You do get a lot of gold, but I don't think it is better than a summoner airy, summon airy, because that's just a lot more damage, but it is certainly a viable strategy and you still get the 20% attack speed. So if you were to go that, you would go uh, inspiration into precision and then do uh, get the you could get the earlier boots I don't think that's too good but you could get the depth the markers depth and the uh, the six minute Sonia's uh, could be decent I don't know it's not really too great but I definitely say kleptomancy works so it's sort of up to you what you do so for the builds, I have been going, when I do summonary, I've been going the standard build that I always pretty much have been going for the last few months. Bloodthirster into Infinity Edge, into Rapid Fire or Static, and rest being situational. Uh, but I think if you are going, for example, fleet work, uh, fleet footwork, that you can do a no lifesteal build with the first item Infinity Edge and into a static shiv, into a rapid fire, and into maybe even an essence reaver, or get a lifesteal item at that stage. I think that can work, but I just think the early game's so much worse that I really don't like it myself. I think also if you're going press the attack, while I don't think it's all that great, the only best, the good thing about it is that you do get the attack speed from the precision tree. Yeah, you can also do bloodthirst, I'd say, and Bloodthirster into Infinity Edge, pretty much the standard build. If you're going Kleptomancy, I'd say it's the same. Bloodthirster into Infinity Edge. It is pretty, pretty good. You could also do more of a movement speed build with Yumu's uh, as Celerity does give get quite a bit of AD off of Celerity, but it's not that much. So I still would say that Yumu's isn't really that worth it. Yumu's hasn't been good on Draven for quite a while in my opinion but I do buy it sometimes but I wouldn't say it's uh, a core item it's more of a situational items uh, if they have no tanks then I think it can be good because you'll be shredding all the people with no armor but if they do have a lot of tanks then it's not very good but right now it's not really in a tank meta so I definitely think it's stronger right now but I still don't think it's all that optimal compared to other crit items and lifesteal items but yeah, I think you can still experiment a lot with builds. I wouldn't say there's one set in stone build right now. I'm just using what I'm used to and what was good before. But there might be something that is also very good right now, seeing as so much has changed. I still think the Bloodthirster build is very good, especially if you do go summon Aerie, because you do have insane lane pressure. I usually also go two BF swords before I get my Bloodthirster, just to get even more AD and just to bully out even more and just snowball faster and faster. And I think it's pretty damn good, actually. However, I have to be honest with you guys, I don't think Draven is that strong right now. He feels pretty bad to play. I've been trying to play him a bit jungle, actually, with Dark Harvest, and it's pretty fun if you get really fed because you actually one-shot people with Dark Harvest, but it's still kind of sad because it's like, he just doesn't feel as strong as he used to right now, and I really hope Ride will do something about it. Like, yeah, I don't know. Poor Sassoon's been fucking memeing all around. He's like, I'm going to play support Draven now because that's better than AD. <laughs> like, it's bad, but, you know, it's going to be okay, I think. Yeah, Draven's never been, like, complete garbage, so hopefully it'll be okay. But thank you guys so much for watching. Go follow my Twitter at JackSpectra. I like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more content, and uh, join my Discord. We have uh, good chats, and uh, it's very nice. And I also invite people to game there when I'm leveling up. So yeah, go join that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.